Hi, I'm Kevin Clay and I've got three things today to chit chat with you about that I think could really help your restaurant in reaching people, not only new customers, but reminding your old customers of where you are. I mean, let's face it, you know, I've got a lot of friends in the restaurant business. I like restaurants, eat at a lot of them. And one of the biggest uh, problems is just reminding people about you, getting them coming back. Sometimes, you know, they change their habits, you just fall out of the routine. And then how do you get with them and let them know that you're still there? So we're gonna look at three things today that won't cost you a fortune that you can use to help make sure that you stay on the radar. So first of all, gonna look at some of the, uh, not necessarily social networking, but apps on the phones, on on mobile phones that people use to find restaurants. Now this is something I've been kind of ignoring for a while, but on a recent vacation with my family, I noticed as we went through towns, you know, we didn't want to eat at McDonald's and Chili's and Subway. Not that I don't like those places, but I can get that at home. I wanted the local flavor. So we'd pull out Yelp, which is, this is an app that I like. Again, my parents, uh, they like TripAdvisor, that's theirs. There's different ones, there's Foursquare, Urban Spoon. But anyway, and I would click that and say, hey, what restaurants are nearby? And the way these things work, then people write their ratings. Your customers are writing ratings about your restaurant. And so people can look and read what other people have said. Because let's face it, people are getting pretty savvy now about advertising. I mean, a slick produced ad is nice, but people are more likely to trust somebody they know or someone they feel like they know, you know, a, a common user on one of these sites than they are a really slick commercial a lot of times. And this, the beauty of this is this is a way to give you local restaurant owners uh, an even keel with the major guys because let's face it a lot of people aren't going to review a McDonald's hamburger because everybody knows what that tastes like but maybe a Joe's hamburger if, if that's your your place or Sally's burgers or whoever it is people are actually more likely to put reviews which can boost your rankings on these sites of course you need to make sure you know what's going on on these sites and encourage people and that's where it helps to have somebody who can stay on top of it for you all above board don't ever write fake reviews that'll get you in trouble but uh, you can encourage your customers to say hey would you help me out on this uh, would you go to this site let me know what you thought and also it's a great tool for keeping up and finding out if you do see problems there if maybe there's something that needs to be addressed in your business so it's, it's a great tool both ways there now so that's the first one is uh, checking out to the, using these apps that people use on on their phones. Second, texting. Are you using texting yet? There's several systems out there uh, where you can text the message directly to your customers. Uh, my personal favorite is, well, yes, the one that, that I provide because it uses the people's names. Uh, they'll send in their name to a certain number and then they're added to the list. So then when you have a special, instead of just having a generic thing go out, it says actually, hey, Sally, here's, you know, I like, I like the name Sally. Sally, here's what's going on this week, or Ron, or, or whatever the name is. It's got their name right there, a little bit of a personal touch. So texting would be the second thing that you need to be involved with with your restaurant. I mean, get that message right to your customers. Mass media is good, radio, newspaper, all that, but can they guarantee it's gonna go right to the customer? I mean, when's the last time you ignored a text? Think about that. So texting, great tool out there. And then the last thing, that uh, you might want to be interested in is video. You say, well, video, what do you, what do you mean? Is that that sharp produced ad? No, I'm talking about video that you can put on your Facebook page to actually talk to people, let them know you as the owner of the restaurant. It's a way to establish a relationship even though people haven't come in your restaurant. And also you can say, hey, uh, here's a new dish that we've got, or here's, here's something, a, a new drink that we've come up with in a way that you can visit and then interact on your Facebook page. And so. I know you're saying Facebook, that was four things. If you, well, I'm just assuming everybody by now has a Facebook page. And if you don't, you know, those are free to set up, right? Okay. So those are some things to look at. Once again, well, let's, uh, let's review the uh, phone apps that rate the restaurant sites, texting campaign, and video. And tie that in with your, your Facebook, and that's a little, like a three and a half there for you. So I hope this has been helpful for you. If you'd like to know how to get any of these set up, uh, have me uh, take a look at what you're doing right now and see maybe some ways that you can tweak it please feel free to give me a call. I would love to chit chat with you. Kevin Clay, thanks for watching. Oh.